What's up everyone, and welcome to Slice of Pie. Now the first episode in any TV show, the pilot, usually lets you know what it's all about. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this like one of those choose your own adventure stories. You can skip to the part you want by clicking on the timestamp below, and you can watch this in bite-sized pieces. On my right here I've got a menu of different flavoured slices that you can get from this pie. All of the flavours will also have a healthy dose of fibre included. The fibre of my being that will hopefully keep you regular. <laughs> Lee coming back for more. <laughs> This is going to be a two-part roller coaster. This first part is the climb, the gentle rise that gives you a brief glimpse of the other rides in the theme park. Yes, I know I just mixed up four metaphors in the space of two minutes, but stay with me here. The second part is going to be the drop. It's going to go deep, it's going to go high, and it's going to go to some unexpected and possibly offensive places. For some people, you'll probably find them attacking me in the comments below. This is the internet after all. Now, I'm just going to be unapologetically me, and if I offend you, then maybe you should consider not getting offended so easily? I'm just saying it can't be good for your stress and cortisol levels to get worked up like that. Maybe you should just sit back and relax. And I know you don't normally go into a roller coaster to relax, but that's why I said to expect the unexpected. And yes, I know that is a paradox, but did you? I started this channel because just like Tupac, still I see no changes either in my life or in the world at large, at least not in the ways that I'd like, and I'm getting tired of it. So this is me doing whatever I can to fix that. Before I get further, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to try and include a little easter egg in all of my videos. That clock behind me is a throwback to this moment from The Simpsons. We're sitting on her sweet can. I grab her sweet can. Those of you paying attention might notice the clock moving backwards and forwards as I edit. I also just wanted to quickly thank Laura Lane from the UK for helping me digitize my logo, to Willa K. Browers from Denmark, I hope I said your name correctly, for making me some awesome vinyl stickers, I'll show you guys in another video, and to my good friends Kenneth Paulraj, Kanan Mohotra, and Sumit Joseph for all their support in getting this going. Now those last three will actually be joining me in a lot of my videos, along with a lot of other incredible, interesting, and talented friends that I have. Now I love introducing people to new things, and I'm going to have such a diverse range of content on this channel that I should have something for hopefully everyone. Now, the number of topics I'm limited to is the same as the number of digits in Pi. The idea is, you might come to check out one thing and discover something else awesome that you never knew about. And what that does is, it opens you up to this whole new world of friends who share that same interest with you. And that's pretty cool. It might also help us all realize that there is far more that unites us than divides us. That's really weird. This has been happening to me all day. Oh well, quick change. Now, uni ladders and lad biblers might know me for my comedy and my funny comments, but I really just like any excuse to get my words out on a page. This could be comments, stories, articles, even songs. I'm even going to write out all the captions for my videos, for those of you who are hearing impaired, and maybe other people like me who just like reading captions, because you can't always have the speakers on. When I started writing songs, I realized there was no point if no one would hear them. So I started teaching myself how to play guitar, and to sing. I'm definitely not a professional by any means, in fact people would probably pay me not to sing. And yes, despite knowing I suck, I'm still going to be putting up covers because A, it's fun and cathartic. The more emotional the song, the better it feels. I know that sounds cheesy. And B, the more I suck now, the more room I have for growth, and the greater the change you'll see over time. While I can write lyrics, I don't yet know how to write music. And by practicing different covers, I'm hoping I'll build up the skill set to create my own music someday. I just got a MacBook with Logic Pro and a MIDI controller, and I'm gonna have some fun experimenting. I won't be limited to one genre or one instrument, and I'll be doing collaborations with real musicians, with actual talents. So you might want to stay tuned for those. Some of my choices might surprise you. Now I'm not sure if you noticed, but I just changed the lens. Let me know in the comments below which look you prefer. Now I'm also the resident tech support for all my friends and family. They come to me for advice on what to buy, and if they need tech support, obviously. Now some years ago, I was in a competition by Gizmodo Australia, 
and I won People's Choice and Editor's Second Choice. And I almost got the chance to fly to Las Vegas to report on the Consumer Electronics Show. Sadly, I just missed out. Some of you might know Marcus Brownlee, or MKBHD. He's got a great tech channel on YouTube. I was subscribed to him when he had just a thousand subscribers, and now he's at over five million. And to think he was just a kid who had a massive passion for technology. Marcus, if you're watching this now, congratulations man, well done, you're an inspiration. So on my channel, I'll be doing videos like his across a wide variety of tech, and I'll also be doing do-it-yourself tutorials. Firstly, I'm going to need to build a rig, so if you've ever wanted to know how to build your own PC, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also working on something really cool that's not yet commercially available. It's going to be quite difficult, but once I've figured it out, I'm going to tell you what parts to get and how you can build it. Warning, there might be some programming involved, but if you can pull it off, then you'll have a really cool piece of tech that hardly anyone else has, and you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that you built it with your own two hands. A lot of people know I'm also a huge TV and movie buff, with a wide variety of tastes across pretty much every genre. Even rom-coms and chick flicks, I don't discriminate. So I'll be doing movie reviews like Jeremy Johns and Chris Duckman, the first of which will be for Avengers Infinity War later this week, which I'm so excited for. Now I'm obviously a DC fan, but I am a Marvel fan too, because... Por que no las dos? I'll also be doing TV show group reactions and discussions, like the normies, and I'll be inviting some of my friends over for these episodes. Here's a list of some of the shows I'll be doing this for, and also another list of some of my other favorite TV shows, so you can kind of get an idea of what my taste is like. You can hit pause if you want to read them all. As an extension of being a film buff, I also want to get into filmmaking and photography, because I have my own moments to capture and my own stories to tell. I just got a Canon 80D with Adobe Creative Cloud and Final Cut Pro, so I'm going to have some fun with that. I also just wanted to give a quick shout out to Peter McKinnon for his very helpful YouTube videos. I still remember the day I first became a gamer. It was December 25th, 1997. If you were born after that date, you can't even vote yet in the US. Man, that makes me feel old. But anyways, I got a Nintendo 64 with Goldeneye and Banjo-Kazooie. And shortly after, I got Super Smash Brothers. That game was fun. I used to just falcon punch the crap out of everyone. Now fast forward to today, I don't have the time to play games like I once did. But I do have an Xbox One and a PS4, so I won't miss the best exclusives. And like I said before as well, I'm also building a PC. Now I won't be doing Twitch streaming or anything like that, because like I said, I don't have time. But what I will try to do is reviews of some of my favourite and most anticipated games. Like the new Amazing Spider-Man one looks pretty cool. The next Elder Scrolls will probably be awesome as well, if Skyrim was anything to go by. And of course, Half-Life 3. I mean, that's been confirmed now, right? I'm pretty sure it has. So I've been to 15 countries and counting, and I'll be going to a different country at least once per year. This June I'll be going to Japan, and starting from then and going forwards, I'll be shooting travel vlogs of all of my adventures. That way I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid I told you I can't sing And yet that also came out of nowhere But don't worry, I am looking for a vocal coach So I'm Indian Australian And I come from a relatively small background, Konkani Which originated from Goa We have a lot of unique dishes that I've never seen in any Indian restaurants At least not in Australia but anyways, I like to cook, so I'll be showing you guys how to make some of our amazing recipes. I also like making more common cuisines and my own fusions, like pie Italian and Pinese. <laughs> and yes, that was really lame. But I'll be showing you some of my experimentations. Now I'm not vegan, but I'm going to be making some vegan cuisines as well, because I know how hard they have it, and I really respect that decision they've made. So I'm something of a martial arts nerd. I love fight choreography. I've seen all the movies of Donnie Yen, Tony Ja, Jet Li, Bruce Lee, Iko Uwais, the list goes on. And it's also one of the many, many reasons why Avatar The Last Airbender is one of the greatest shows of all time. To me anyway. It even inspired a part of my tattoo. I'll make another video about that. So I managed to find the very same t-shirt I was wearing in that photo. And as you can see, I fill it up a little bit differently now. Over the years, my t-shirt sizes have gone from small to medium to large, and now back to medium. 
I hope to one day go back to large, but to fill it up with muscle instead of fat this time. My good friend Dr. Karnav Malhotra will be joining me for some of these health segments. He's a general practitioner, so he's going to be dropping some knowledge on y'all about common ailments and how to fix them. We'll also be teaching you how to meditate, which can be an extremely powerful tool. Not to be confused with the one in the White House, because this one is actually useful. Now I know I don't look like I'm qualified to talk about fitness, but I will be. Why? Because I just said so. So now I've painted myself into a corner, and I've made myself accountable to all of you and to the future me. And I really don't want to disappoint that guy. Now I'm no stranger to body transformations, and not always in a good way. This was me just after I finished high school, about 10 years ago. As you can see, I was very obviously a lightweight. I was 6 foot tall, weighed 60 kilos, and couldn't put on weight if I tried, because I played so much sport. I stopped growing vertically in high school, but then I started growing horizontally. I went from 60 kilos to 96 kilos. That's over a 50% increase in body weight. It's because I kept eating enough for three people, but I stopped playing sports. And I'm no longer like Jughead Jones, I can't eat the whole buffet and still stay skinny. <laughs> and then one day, I was just like, nah, I'm not doing this anymore. And I lost 10 kilos in one week, but I overdid it and I injured myself. But I still ended up losing 25 kilos over the course of the year. Now everybody's body works differently, but hopefully over the course of the years, I can give you some ideas on what works and what doesn't. The proof will be in the pie, not the pudding. Now while I still am a bit self-conscious, and I'm not sure if that ever really goes away, I'm going to do this in the name of science and progress. This is where I'm at now, and I put my current stats up on the screen. This video is going to be a reference point, a benchmark, and I can't allow myself to turn backwards from here. See what I did there? The figures on the screen right now are where I want to be by August 31st, and they're just out of my reach. But you should always try to do more than you think you can, because then there's a chance you might actually do it. So what's the goal body I'm aiming for? This one. Will I ever get there? Probably not. But if you want to look like a Kryptonian, you have to shoot for Krypton. This was me when I met Henry Cavill five years ago at the Man of Steel Sydney premiere. That's actually where I got that sign from behind me. I even ended up in the news that night because I looked like such a dork. As you can see, my jawline had vacated the premises, and a second chin had moved in its place. But now, the prodigal jawline has started to come home. Now Henry, I don't know if you remember me from that night, but hearing Superman himself say nice suit is something I'll never forget, so thank you for that. This is the end of part one. By now you've reached the top of the climb. From up here you can see some of the other rides available in the theme park. You can't see everything yet though because some of it's out of your line of sight. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Henry, if you're still watching this, can you please look into playing Archer? You would be perfect for him. Coming up next in part two is the drop. You might want to brace yourselves. It's going to challenge you in ways that might help you change your life or even someone else's. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I'll see you there. I mean, are you really going to get off in the middle of a roller coaster just before the big drop? I don't think so. So I'm going to make this easy for you. Can you please hit subscribe and the bell icon below so I can keep you posted? And it would be really cool if you could also follow my Facebook and Instagram pages. Thanks a lot. It really means a lot. Why don't I just say a lot twice? Okay, it doesn't matter. I'll see you there. Ciao. That's so disgusting. We'll be fine. Let's party.